So I think one of the biggest things that people wonder about the asexual community and asexual people in general is, do asexual people want relationships and or date? And the answer is, depends on the asexual person. But today I will be explaining five things that you should know before you date an asexual person. So if this is someone that you are interested in that comes out to you as asexual, or if you are in an existing relationship and your partner has come out to you as asexual, these are five things you should know while trying to to be supportive for this asexual person. So let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I just wanna let you know that all of my socials are in the description, my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Redbubble, and Patreon if you'd like to support this channel. Also, I just wanna remind you to smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you'd like to see more LGBTQ plus content from this face right here. So let's get into the video. The first thing you should do if you are interested in someone who is asexual is trying to understand and value validate their asexuality. Now, I know you're going to be like, Lynn, this seems pretty obvious. However, it's not so obvious to a lot of people. There are a lot of people who come out as asexual or are on the asexual spectrum and do want relationships and want a partnership. That's going to look different for everyone. However, when you are coming out to someone as ace, it can be really scary because of the world that we live in and how much sex is pushed onto romantic relationships. They're kind of connected a lot in our society and a lot of people believe that if you don't have sex or have less sex in a relationship it's not as valid which is not true so if someone that you're interested in or your partner has recently come out to you as asexual trying to understand and validate them is one of the best and minimum things that you can do for them. A lot of people don't really know about asexuality. And like I said, it's a spectrum. So learning about it, asking them questions, if they feel comfortable answering them, making sure that the person who has come out to you knows that you still are there for them and care about them as a person because sometimes that's not always the thing that happens when people come out. The second thing you should know about before dating any sexual person is that it's a spectrum, aka every ace person is different. Now, I know that this could be something that I feel like it might be obvious to some people, but most of the time when I've come out to people and said that I'm on the asexual spectrum, I've gotten, oh, so you don't want relationships, you must be sex repulsed, and I've had people make pretty broad assumptions about me without asking me. <laughs> Remembering the fact that every asexual person is different, it's a spectrum, no one is going to be asexual or on the asexual sexual spectrum in the same way. There are people who are sex positive, sex neutral, sex repulsed. There are people who do want relationships, who don't want relationships, and everything in between. Everyone's different on the asexual spectrum, so remember to talk to your asexual to find out how they feel so that they're comfortable. The third thing on this list is communication about boundaries is key. I feel like this is more of like a general tip for anyone in any sort of relationship, whether it be romantic, platonic, sexual, anything that boundaries are important, but especially when someone is asexual, depending on if they are sex repulsed, sex neutral, or sex positive, people may have different things that they are comfortable with and that they're not comfortable with. Communication is one of the biggest things just in general that is good for relationships, but especially with someone who is ace so that you know exactly what you're going to get when you are with them. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but asexual people aren't going to change their mind mid relationship. A lot of times, I've seen comments of, oh, I was dating this person and I told them my explicit boundaries and about two or three months in, they tried me to do this, this, and this, and it was very disrespectful. And that person wasn't listening to the aces person's boundaries and they thought it would change or that they could coerce them into doing something they really didn't want to do. So definitely for sure, make sure that you understand what the asexual person's boundaries are and also that your boundaries and needs are getting met in other ways as well. Everything is about communication. Communication is key. Number four kind of goes back to the third one, but it's don't blame or put pressure on your partner. Ace people in general feel guilty about not being able to quote unquote meet their partner's sexual needs and the things that they don't feel comfortable with doing. Living in a society that pushes sex down 
everyone's throat from a very young age you're taught that sex is one of the only things that makes you worthy as a person and it shows a lot of people that that's the only thing that they're good for if they're in a relationship and the person doesn't want you sexually then it must be over which is not the case there are plenty of people who have relationships with little to no sex and they're perfectly valid and good healthy relationships because both parties know boundaries and that sort of thing. So like I said for tip number three, a lot of asexuals and people on the asexual spectrum experience people pushing the boundaries that they've previously and have partners who blame them or put pressure on them to do things that they don't want to do. Please don't do this. It's not healthy anyway. Trying to push boundaries isn't okay and blaming someone for their sexuality that they literally cannot change. Asexuality is like any other sexuality. You cannot change it. It's who you are. You were literally born this way. So it's not going to change. So putting blame or pressure on the ace person is not okay and pretty traumatizing actually. And yeah, just don't do it. It's not good. It's not nice. No. And the fifth and final thing you should know before dating an asexual person is that just because they are not sexually attracted to you doesn't mean that they don't love you. Honestly, a really big misconception that all asexual people are also aromantic or that asexual people can't feel love and asexual people are heartless and this sort of thing. No, they just don't feel sexual attraction or people on the ace spectrum because it is a spectrum don't feel sexual attraction as frequently or there are certain conditions that have to be met before they can feel sexual attraction unlike allosexual people just because someone isn't always sexually attracted to you does not mean that they don't have love for you and i know again because of the society that we live in that this is honestly really hard to kind of conceptualize because most of the relationships and ideas of love revolve around sex and desire and lust and that sort of thing but you can have a full healthy relationship with someone who is ace and not be engaging in sexual activities or all sexual activities depending on how comfortable the person is and their lack of sexual attraction has honestly nothing to do with you they can literally be so in love with you give you the whole wide world honestly asexual people are some of like the sweetest nicest most caring giving people i've ever met in my life just because they don't experience sexual attraction doesn't mean that ace people don't have a lot of love to give I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other tips or advice that you would give people who are dating an asexual person or their partner just came out as ace to them and how to go about being a better partner for the asexual person. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!